babysitting sounds so sweet, but it can actually be very unpredictable. Taking your first steps is hard. Not just for the kiddo, but for the adult with him. You need to go with the child everywhere and hold his hands. And everything around him seems so interesting. Oof! My back! <sighs> Following the baby back and forth is so tiring. It's a good thing Emily volunteered to help. <sighs> Just in time. But the baby's got plenty of energy. And pretty soon, Emily needs a break, too. Oh. Okay, time to sit down and give her back a rest. But the child isn't happy. <laughs> Who wants to sit around when the world is full of exciting stuff? Try using a sheet. Mm -hmm. Take a big piece of fabric, put it in the front under the baby's chest, and move the ends back out from under the arms. The result are perfect reins. Now you don't have to bend over. And the baby is under control. It seems the little explorer is very happy with this invention. There's another problem. How can you give a kid a bath when the only thing in the bathroom is a shower? Here's the answer. An inflatable pool. Just match it to the shape of the shower bottom. Lily uses a square one. Put the pool at the bottom of the shower and fill it with water. You can start bath time. Put some diapers on the kid and put him in the pool. He likes it a lot. Cleaning with a baby in your arms is hard. He's pretty heavy. But Emily took care of it. The mop inspires her to try a new life hack. Take the baby's onesie. Cut the mop head into four parts. Sew two on right here and the other two there. When the baby crawls, they'll touch the floor. Now you can put this cool clean onesie on the kid. Now the baby is like a real Roomba. Bonus! The bodysuit doesn't get dirty or wear out as fast as it usually does. When a baby falls asleep on a bed without sides, it's dangerous to leave him alone because he could fall. You could just put pillows all around him. But that's not enough. Let's use swim noodles. Emily and Lily put them in at the edges of the bed. And they tie them with ribbons like this. Now you can put a soft blanket on top. Yeah. And put the baby in the cozy nest. The noodles won't let him accidentally fall out of the bed. Sweet dreams, little one. Kids love candy. Everyone knows that. They eat candy at the speed of light. All that's left are the wrappers. Lily and Emily decide that the kids should clean up after themselves. Trying to get the kids to do it of their own accord doesn't work. And then Emily suggests they do something unusual. With decorative tape. Put strips of tape on the floor in a square. Now it's way more interesting to clean the floor. Because the children have to put all the wrappers inside the square. They like to compete and see who's <laughs> faster. Everybody wins and the room is clean. Great idea! Of course, not all kids are so tricky. Some of them sit quietly with a book. But that's when the little <laughs> troublemakers come. And they can make a mess out of nothing. Hey. The result is a lollipop in the little bookworm's hair. Whoops! And the other lollipop is covered in dust from under the couch. That's terrible! We have to do something! A plastic egg from a Kinder Surprise will help. Use a box cutter to make a hole in the bottom. Put a stick from a lollipop in it. That's a great candy case! No more sticky lollipops to hurt your hair. Or get dirty! Don't want to finish your lollipop? Close it up and save it for later! <laughs> yeah. When the kids
kids start making music, you'd better get your earplugs right away. You need to channel their energy in a quieter direction ASAP. Take a regular t-shirt. Put a magazine inside and mark the shape of the magazine on the fabric to make a rectangle. Draw a keyboard. Paint some keys black. Make a small piano. Draw drums underneath. And now you can put this musical t-shirt on. And invite the kids to play the painted instruments. Now there will be no noise. And the babysitters can get a massage. Kids can make trouble out of anything. They have been captured by toilet paper. You can only guess how that happened. Apparently, they were just playing around. How are you doing that? A kid walks into the bathroom and a paper mummy comes out. If we keep this up, we are going to run out of toilet paper. It's okay. Let's teach them how to save the essentials. Stick two arrows under the roll holder and a strip between them. That's the stop line. Don't unroll any more toilet paper after that. That's a great way to teach kids how to use toilet paper correctly. But plenty of their misadventures can happen in the bathroom. The child washes his hands and accidentally pulls on the shower curtain. These curtains are so flimsy, anything can happen. Hmm. Looks like the curtain isn't going back to normal. Emily understands that, so she quickly finds another use for it. Cut pieces like this out of the curtain. Now you have a hood and a cape. Now connect the parts of the raincoat with tape. Perfect for any rainy weather. Your child can wear it over his jacket. The rain won't bother you again. Giving medicine to a child is a serious challenge. You'll have to use a little trick. <sighs> Hide the bottle behind a pack of his favorite juice or milkshake and put the straw of the drink in the medicine bottle. The result? The child will drink the medicine to the last drop. It's surprisingly easy to fool a kid. Painting can keep children busy for a long time, but the creative process is going too fast. And all of a sudden, the markers end up on the floor. Sometimes without the caps. This is how the room looks after that. You have to pick up the markers and find the caps every time. It's exhausting. You have to think of something. Emily and Lily are taking a cardboard box, as well as hot glue and a box cutter. Make holes in the bottom of the box, like this, crosswise. Now put the markers in them, caps inside the box. But wait, there's more! Hot glue the markers to the box. This way you definitely won't lose them. That's way better! Next time the kids draw, They'll just take the markers out of the box without the caps. Hopefully the room will be cleaner afterwards. Anyone who's ever had to cut a child's hair knows how hard it is. Once you get close to the little client with scissors, the resistance begins. Why don't you watch some TV? Maybe some cartoons? Nope! Then Emily's trying to distract the child with her smartphone. No, you can't just fool me! The situation seems hopeless. But then Lily shows up with a VR headset. That's the solution! Put the headset on the child and believe me, no kid would say no to that kind of fun. And now you can do the tips of the hair. You need to work quickly, but at least now she won't fight the haircut. 
As you can see, if you are babysitting a kid, you have to be a little sneaky sometimes. But the result is worth it. Which babysitting secret did you like the most? Tell us in the comments. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you don't miss any new videos with useful life hacks from Troom Troom Select.